The Barossa Valley is one of the world's best wine regions known for its full-bodied Shiraz wines. It is located in South Australia, 60 kilometers northeast of Adelaide. For this trip, we booked the Trail Hopper Bus Tour, which is a hop-on, hop-off type service. They pick up and drop off from Adelaide CBD and visit 12 locations throughout the day. With the way their timetables are set, you can visit up to four wineries of your choice. This is a good way to experience the Barossa as you don't have to drive, which means you can drink as much as you want. Of course, drunken disorderly behavior is always unacceptable. Our first stop is Grant Verge Wines, one of the most widely recognized brands from the Barossa. Their history goes back to the 1850s when the first generation of Burge winemaker migrated here. Today, they make a variety of wines ranging from sparkling to rosé to Shiraz and Grenache. We love their sparkling Pinot Chardonnay and is one of the wines we featured in our wine and fast food episode. They offer a wide range of different tasting options from old sparkling wines to different expressions of Shiraz to rare and fortified wines. In this visit, we booked the icons of Grand Purge Tasting which allows you to taste their six most iconic and premium wines. This includes the Mishak Shiraz which normally retails for $230 a bottle. Our guide was also kind enough to let us try some of their normal wines that weren't included in our tasting list. We also decided to have an early lunch and ordered a seasonal platter to go with the wines. It was very good. Special mention to the local olives which were unlike anything you can get from your local grocery store or deli. Nice wines, nice food, and nice view. Our day was off to a good start. On to the next one. Next stop is another well-known Barossa brand, Yalamba Winery. The Hillsmith family has owned and operated this winery for 170 years. The winery itself is more spectacular looking compared to the first one. Definitely a lot more Instagram worthy if that's your thing. Alright, that's enough photos. Let's head to the tasting room. Very cool interiors. A lot bigger and busier than the first one. They also offer a range of tasting options. We opted for the rare and fine tasting flight to sample some of the more expensive bottles we wouldn't normally buy just to try. While the wines were okay, is the history and overall experience that you appreciate when you visit a place like this. Overall, a worthwhile stop in our tour. We saved the best for last. No brand is as iconic in the Barossa and perhaps in Australia as Penfolds. And no wine as prestigious as their Grange. We've had their saint Henri Shiraz and featured it in our video on special location wines. We love that wine so much that it was hard to imagine how much better a Shiraz can get. But as wine lovers living in Australia, we had to try the iconic Grange at least once in our lifetime. On to the wine tasting. We booked the Taste of Grange experience which costs $150 a person. This also includes 5 other premium wines such as San Henri, Bin 169, and Bin 707. As we went up the list, 
came to the realization that while the price of wine is a reflection of its quality, it's not going to make you like one style over the other. Special shout out to our amazing wine guide Gemma for making the experience even more enjoyable. Now, for the moment of truth, we tried the Grange. Was it all hype? Did it live up to our expectations? My god it did, even when we hope it wouldn't. Flavor, complexity, elegance, all in perfect balance. Everything you could want in a wine. If I can use a metaphor, it's like scoring a date with your dream girl or guy, and they turn out to be even more amazing than you imagined. We left thinking, we shall meet again. We must. What a day and what an experience. Our first trip to the Barossa is one we will never forget. With 150 wineries and 80 cellar doors in the region, we haven't even really scratched the surface. We will definitely be back for more. Till next time, Salud!